Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Dundalk TV. Today we are with Pastor Ron Wright, Dave Rader to his right, and Tim Fassenbecker um, he, from the Edgemere area. And all these gentlemen are looking to step up and run for public office um, as write-in candidates. So uh, they, they, they want to do the best they can for the community and they want to share a message uh, with our viewers about why they feel it's so important for them to run for public office. So uh, let's start with Dave. Uh, Dave, why do you want to run for public office? One of the main things I want to make sure that anytime anybody is uh, doing any kind of development around here, the people know what's going on. They know well in advance before anything happens. They're, they're, in, the, they're in the beginning of the talks, the middle of the talks, and the end of the talks. They're, they don't just find out about it in the paper whenever it's uh, whenever it's already a done deal, or whenever it's almost a done deal. Well, that is very important, Dave. Um, thank you, and uh, thank you for stepping up and running. Um, you did run in the primary. Um, didn't exactly uh, uh, get the votes that you needed to uh, win, but you're looking to continue. You're not giving up. You're going to continue the fight into the general election, and uh, I uh, Greatly appreciate you doing that. Thank you. And uh, Tim is actually uh, running for the same seat, and uh, he'll share with you why he found it to be so important to run for public office. So I, I was noticing how things were changing in Dundalk, not for the better. Uh, I noticed, noticed a lot of subsidized homes coming into our area, Section 8, uh, things that a lot of us people in these, in these areas don't necessarily want. And on top of that, our taxes keep going up, and what do we have to show for it but less and less? Where's all that money going? Something that I uh, really started to look into and that was one of the reasons that I really jumped in here. My kids, I have four little ones, uh, many other kids in the area were stealing from them. And that is the reason that I had to get in and help stop this. And those two subjects uh, that you shared, Dave, with the development and you're sharing with the Section 8, they're kind of linked together because with the new developments comes more Section 8. And uh, Dundalk is changing and uh, with that change, it is because people are coming in and uh, we have uh, the Section 8 coming in and a lot of new people coming in that we didn't have before. Uh, on the 4th of July, which just passed, uh, we had a stabbing right after the fireworks, um, uh, from what I understand. Then last night, I was just at a, um, a scene where a, a gentleman had a gun and was walking around and uh, luckily enough, no one was injured in, in that and the uh, police took care of it very well, but this is just another instance that happened. And I was also told that someone was robbed on uh, Peninsula Expressway, and I believe they were shot as well. So um, things are really changing and not for the better in our community. And the pastor, Pastor Reverend Wright, um, has uh, warned the community about this. Uh, in the past, he's been uh, spreading that message for quite some time. So uh, we'll go to the pastor. Pastor, so you're now stepping up and you're looking to uh, run for public office as a rating candidate. Now, what office are you looking to run? Uh, House of Delegates. Uh, I, I wanted to run for the House of Delegates and uh, I wanted to share with people that I, I'm not running as a pastor. I'm running as a person concerned for public safety. Um, this area in which we live, our children and grandchildren, uh, is becoming dangerous to walk down the streets. Uh, Baltimore County politicians uh, from our district has been warned many times for the last five years about case dumping back in the community of repeat offenders and people getting Maryland driver's license that shouldn't have got them, it wasn't in treatment, and uh, false reports being sent, and they have ignored everything, even after the death of a three-year-old girl, an eight-year-old girl, and a lady who was stabbed 34 times, and uh, every time I tried to get some assistance from many of our local politicians, it was falling to deaf ears, and I want to try to change that and make this a, a safer Baltimore County for us. So, and that, that's dealing with the, the um, uh, drug epidemic and, and the problems with uh, alcohol. You're talking about the case stuff, correct? Alcohol and drug stuff, yes. So, and, and the pastor did warn that, that, that the crime was going to increase because uh, the case dumping was happening. And uh, along with the um, uh, Section 8 and uh, all the influx of new people coming in. And um, I see the DRC being a big part of this as well. And the um, elected officials are turning their back on it. Todd Crandall's uh, connected with the DRC. Uh, Johnny Oshesky, uh was uh, 
tied to the DRC and um, having these small groups of people that are that are running our, our community and, and not having people just from the public like these gentlemen that are doing it for all the right reasons the, these people that are already in office they're they're just going with the flow they're all part of the system now and we need some fresh faces and we need people that are actually standing up for the community so uh, one of the amazing things this is how brazen uh, people are in, in the uh, in, in the, that are in political office is that during the parade, uh, Ron Metzger was in the parade. This is after Dundalk PD had shared a video saying that he uh, had verbally abused his neighbor and um, just uh, he wanted to actually get in Dundalk PD's face. I know he was thinking about it, he wanted to say something, but maybe he just needed a couple of drinks. Who knows? But um, that seems to loosen his lips up a little bit. Um, so, what we need to do is um, follow these guys and um, see what their message is against the other guy's message. So, uh, what we're looking to do is, uh, Dundalk TV is looking to have a debate between Dave and Tim and uh, 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 Todd and and also um, Brian Weir. And uh, so um, Brian and Todd, we're going to let you, um, you guys make up when you would like to have the debate, sometime in July or early August, and then you can uh, put your message out uh, whenever you want to. And um, so please contact uh, Dundalk TV and we'd be more than glad to discuss this with you. Um, is there anything else that you'd like to add, Dave? I'd like to know who's going to step up to the plate and come to this debate. Okay, Pastor, anything else you want to add? I, I would only like to share with the people who have had their homes broke into or their cars broke into or vandalized uh, or injured by some uh, body that uh, has approached them on the street that I went to Todd Crandall met with him in his office, told him about the problem about four years ago when he got into office. His remark to me was, uh, if it's about the budget, I can bring it up. Other than that, I can't help you. Thank you very much. He was not interested in public safety, and the streets are not as safe as people think they are. And we would like to have a debate with the delegates as well, as well as the senators. And Tim, uh, would you like to add anything else? Yes. If you don't feel safe, you feel like Dundalk and Solon area has been going down. If you're wondering why we're funneling tax money into private companies like Trade Point Atlantic, ask your uh, elected officials why that stuff's going on. They'll probably give you a runaround answer. Let's get them at this debate. Let's make them answer for that stuff and put them on the record. Now, please remember that we are the government and, and your votes count. So if you want to change things for the better, you, you're able to. There are people that are stepping up and what you need to do is start thinking outside the box a little bit. You um, uh, write, one, write these guys in. So uh, that'll be a change. They, they will be very surprised. These guys um, totally hate the fact that, that these guys are doing what they're doing and that Dundalk TV is putting out the truth. So uh, if you want to change, um, it, it's coming. It, it will be available for you this November.